Sí. Hello, my name's Jason. Welcome to another episode of me painting. Uh, today, let me show you what we've got going. We've got a, uh, the bottom half of the canvas I've covered with some black gesso, some black gesso. And then uh, after that, I put on some liquid clear. Um, I'm using the Bob Ross liquid clear. I'm using all uh, Bob Ross equipment. So I know I get asked a lot what, what I'm using and so now you know. <laughs> so I use uh, the Bob Ross liquid clear all over the uh, black gesso and then I then put some liquid white on the top half which is where our sky is going to be and then I've covered the whole of this with Prussian blue. Prussian blue. So just to recap, black gesso along the bottom and then left to dry takes about half an hour or so and then uh, put some liquid clear all over here and then liquid white on the top which is also Bob Ross and then uh, Prussian blue all over here okay so let's get started we're doing something different today something uh, something fun so just tap in with the uh, two inch brush just going into some Prussian blue Prussian blue let's put in a nice easy sky just using little crisscross strokes let's put in a uh, simple little sky so we're going to spend a bit more time on what's going on down here so just in the start in the corners and then work down just using little crisscross strokes leave some holes here and there doesn't really matter so you start at the top and work down so it gets lighter towards the horizon which is what we want <coughs> okay, <laughs> using a clean, dry two inch brush, just using little X's, just going to blend, blend all this colour together. Just to get rid of the brush strokes, make it a little softer, smoother. And the liquid white helps us do that. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, just go across. Maybe a little bit more. Let's put a little bit more colour in there. I was a little bit stingy with the blue. <laughs> Let's put a little bit more in there. And a bit more there. Let's make my blue a little stronger. Okay, back with a uh, clean, dry two-inch brush. If you get any hair stuck in, just use the corner. Take that all the way to the horizon. All the way. Okay, that'll do for our sky. Give a little bit of action in there. Okay, now then. This is where the uh, top part of the water is, so I'll uh, grab a little bit of white with the uh, number three fan brush the free fan and let's start putting in indications of some waves back here so I'm just using little rocking motions here and there and our water will come to about here <coughs> let's get a little bit more white one. Okay, about there. Need some little holes where you can still see dark. And there, it's just this is just where the uh, sun's hitting. Want to try and keep a little bit of action in there. Okay, there we go. Maybe a little bit more light here and there but we'll we'll come back and improve that in a minute ok 
Okay, now back to a dirty brush. Go back to our uh, brush we used a minute ago, and I'll get a little bit more white. <coughs> a little bit more of the uh, white, and uh, tap into the blue a little bit. Let's have a look. So, what, what we want to create a little bit of a uh, light it's here because what we're doing is an underwater area and we need it to have some light that's coming from there underneath that's going down and as it, as it comes down it gets darker into the depths of the sea so you can use less pressure and it picks up more of the push and blue as well as you start start at the top and work down It'll pick up a little bit more of the uh, push and blue and get darker automatically now back to our clean brush she's another clean brush <laughs> and uh, start at the top and using crisscross strokes so I'm mixing this up a little bit Just using, choosing that crisscross. Just mix it up. You can use uh, round strokes just to churn it all. However, do you? Okay. Go. Oh, just dropped a knife. <laughs> so we don't need that one. Right now, let's uh, start putting in. Let's start putting him in. Just using the uh, fan brush, fan brush, and I'll grab some crimson, alizarin crimson, and a little Prussian blue. So it makes a, uh, a lavender colour. Let's get a bit more of the blue. Okay, now then, let's have a look. We want our first arm to be, say, about there. About there, and then it comes down, down here, and then around about there. First arm. Here we are, and another one. This is uh, something different to what I usually do. We're doing a uh, more of a fantasy painting. More of a fantasy. Bring that together there. And this sort of goes to that there. And then we'll put another one in. I'll grab a little bit more crimson. Let's put one in, say it's, maybe it's there. There it goes about there. And then down. And around. Okay. And another one. Maybe this one more curved so we'll start like that and then go round about there and then that carries on like that okay and there's another one there's one in front of there let's get a little bit of white now let's get a bit of white some crimson let's make it more more purpley a bit lighter there we are that's better 
and maybe there's another arm and it's sort of here Just bring that together and it sort of goes across that one and then round And uh, we'll clean that bit up there in a minute. And there's another one, another one, and it sort of goes around like there, and that's in front of that one. And that comes to about here. So it goes like that. And then uh, let's put another one in. Another one in, maybe. Maybe let's let's work on its body. So this sort of comes in like this. And then the head, the head of this kraken, <laughs> this octopus. It's up about here. So let's go around. The good thing about the fan brush is you can create nice curves. Let's just fill that in. Let's fill that in with that colour. Okay, now let's let's come forward a little bit. Grab a bit more crimson. We need to put in these tentacles. Uh, maybe there's one here. sort of goes there and then follows so follows it something like that this is uh, this is completely up to you of course mythological creatures you can do them however you want them. however you want them to be let's put another one maybe there's one Maybe there's one here in front of that one. So it goes like that. It goes round. This is the same way as doing a tree. Just the same. Just shows what what you can do with this technique. Okay, so let's let's have a look at this this area. Let's round him off a little bit. Then we can start adding little highlights to make him look a bit more three-dimensional. So I've gone into some of the white over here, grab a bit of crimson, a little bit of blue. And you can uh, start adding little highlights on the tops of some of these. Just here and there. Maybe a little bit on there. On the top of that one. In front, that one needs to be a bit lighter because it's in front. Okay. And on this one as well. some extra light areas for some of them. Just tap in that. Just to uh, give it a little bit more detail, make it a little bit more obvious that they're in front of those. And then you can add a bit on, on these as well, under the water. Maybe add a little bit more blue in that. to you. And then we want to make it more 
obvious which one's in front of which. So let's see. This one, this one's in front. So that would come to say there. That comes about here. That's rounded. And then we want to uh, create. So uh, just to uh, make this look a little bit better, that comes round, and then you can see the other side, sort of there. Okay, gives us a good, uh, good little effect. Let's go on to another brush. Let's put that one aside. I'll leave it all dirty. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Let's use the filbert brush, and let's uh, let's get some of the Prussian blue the Prussian blue and let's put in an eye and then another eye and here something like that and then we can put in using the same color we can add a little bit of dark sort of around here and then back to our fan brush we can just blend that that in a little bit. Let's use a clean man brush. I've got a few going so I'd have to uh, keep stopping and cleaning. Let's just uh, sort of blend that together a little bit. And then uh, let's get a little bit of light colour. So maybe there's some light hitting that part. And maybe there's some light hitting here just a little bit just to give it a little bit of shape there wouldn't be too much hitting in this area so we'll miss that bit out and then we'll put a little bit of, if you can see that I'll make it a bit more obvious a bit of light so sort of hitting there Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just bring that down a little bit there. But you can start modelling this. If you've got plenty of time. You can uh, start adding all kinds of detail. I'm just going to grab the liner brush. Liner brush. A little bit of liquid clear. I'm just going to grab some white. A little bit of blue. Make a light, a light blue, and let's add a little, uh, little hint of uh, light in the eye, just to make it more alive <laughs> looking. And then I can shape this a bit, just a little bit. Like I say, you can start adding in all kinds of little details on the creature. Even go into a little bright red and you can start adding loads of veins and things. Or some little uh, sucker things, <laughs> what are they called? Here and there. Just put in a few. Just to uh, show you what you can do, how far you can render this is up to you. You can take it as far as you want. Let's add a little bit more light in there. Okay, we need something for this to be attacking. It needs to. Uh, let's put in a little ship. Let's put in a little ship. Before I do that, though. I went straight through the water here. Didn't really want to do that. <laughs> so let's uh, let's sort this out. There we go. I can do that as well here. Gives the water a sort of transparent look, having there, uh, so you can see it underneath as well. So I'll just splash up some water, those areas as well, as it's as they come out of the water. Some of the water would splash and poof. 
and you'd even you'd even have little bits dropping off as well so that's just putting an indication of a few bits where the water's dropping there we go right let's put in our, uh, our little ship so we've got one in about there so let's grab let's grab some Van Dyke Brown Van Dyke Brown and cut across get a little roll of paint a little roll of paint let's have our ship right, it's being surrounded by all these arms so let's have it maybe maybe there let's break the horizon maybe it's sort of that big so it's just a little little roll of paint and then you can kind of model it move it around to how you want it to be Okay, and let's put a, uh, let's grab a little bit, tiny bit, I've got a tiny little bit of dark sienna, tiny bit of dark sienna, let's get a bit of that white, cut across, get a little roll of paint, let's just uh, dot in a little bit of colour, and we don't want there to be too much detail because that's yeah, this ship is uh, it's pretty small. <laughs> right. Oh, it's really big. And the, uh, the Kraken's even bigger. Right, so let's, uh, let's put in... Let me just drop the pallet a second. So I've got more control. <laughs> so let's put in the... Uh, where the... Maybe there's a... She's using the uh, knife to put in the... Where the where all the sails are, an indication of how that'll do. Back to the pallet. And let's just clean that top bit up so we can't see the sh the sail lines. There we go. You can even get a bit get a bit more white. Just highlight the top. Maybe this. Boat's a little bit long. <laughs> it doesn't matter though. Alright, let's uh, just clean the liner brush. It's still got some purple on. Okay, just uh, using a little bit of uh, paint thinner. A little bit of paint thinner. And then wiping onto a paper towel. <coughs> right, let's get some white. Yeah, blob of white. Let's move it over here. Maybe a touch of yellow. Got some cad yellow. Yeah. Maybe a bit of red as well. And I want some brown. I'm just sort of mixing, see what I can create. See if it looks more sail like. <laughs> yeah, the brownish works. Let's have a look. Let's put in a sort of sail there. Now, what what you can do is you could get a picture and have a look at the way that the uh, sails are, and you could copy that. I just want an indication of a uh, a ship in there. some little sails, maybe the ship's old, let's put a sail there as well, I think the ship really should finish there, <laughs> <laughs> but it's too late now, it'll be okay, a little bit of a highlight on these sails, maybe there's a, some of them have sails all the way up, four of them and then just put an indication a few like ropes and stuff hanging off okay
Okay, it's just a, uh, a little way of doing a little ship. Now I've got some white. Let's uh, splash, splash some water up here. Just, get a bit of, uh, just grabbing a bit of liquid white because the golden roll, a thin paint, will stick to a thicker paint. So a little bit of liquid white. Just lightly just touch and just bring that across. I'm going to scrape a little bit off the uh, brown. I just, just want to cut it off there. Yeah, that's better. Now back to a fan brush. Get a little bit of the blue and white. with a liquid white. Okay, that's better. Okay. The water's splashing. Okay, now we need something. Maybe there's some over here. Let's get some of the uh, Van Dyke Brown. Let's put in a rock. I mean, this ship was aiming just behind this rock here. And doesn't look like it's going to make it. <laughs> okay, a little bit there. And then, of course, we need to do the underwater area. Maybe this rock. All the way down there. Just get rid of my little finger marks. Tap them away. <laughs> so it's a good idea if you have one of those and they're called braddles where you can lean on them and paint. You don't stick your uh, hand in the painting. I used to use a uh, old curtain pole, <laughs> which worked quite well. You could always use one of those if you don't want to uh, buy one of those braddles. Okay, let's have some land there. And then uh, let's go to our clean brush. Let's have a bit of water. <laughs> it's no longer paint, it's water. <laughs> let's just clean that base up there. Splashes and things. And then uh, back to our dirty brush. And let's, uh, let's put in indication of a little bit greenery there. Just gone straight into the cad yellow, my dirty brush. And let's uh, let's just put in the indication of a few a few things. Just grab a little bit of blue. Make that a little bit darker. That's better. I don't want it to be too bright. A few things are just growing off there. one over here as well. You get these uh, lines of like, big grass type things. I'm not quite sure what they're called. <laughs> but they look good. Okay, now let's uh, use a bit of this yellow. We can use it to highlight this rock as well. Just a little bit. I don't want to do too much to this. A bit, a bit of an angle there. But it gets dark because it comes down here, so you can't see as much. Let's go into another one of these. Let's get some bright red on the fan brush. A bit of yellow, yellow, bright red. And let's just tap, just tap. And then using just the, the dot the fan brush you can put the indication of a few little fish just all swimming along there <laughs> isn't that fantastic that you can paint little fish that quickly it's a little dark and the lighter lighter you do it the smaller the fish are 
Okay, maybe there's a couple there as well. They're all swimming that way to get away from this big thing. Okay, and so uh, grab the line of brush. Let's get a little bit of the uh, liquid white, a bit of the blue. Spin. Let's uh, highlight a few of these areas. You have to imagine that the camera, <laughs> camera's here and in the water, sort of along there. So you can highlight areas. You can put more detail into any of it. <laughs> you could spend hours doing it. Then little, little strokes to give the steer a little bit more action. Okay, well that's uh, about time to put a little signature on this one. We'll uh, put it in this corner here. J, B in the depths. A little bit. Well, uh, thanks very much for watching this one. It's a bit different, uh, but it's a lot of fun, and you'll enjoy it. Okay, I'll see you again. Cheers. Bye.